Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host Jay, and today I want to talk to you guys about an article from NASDAQ. Well, yeah, NASDAQ traditional finance is now hopping their way into cryptocurrency. Um, at least that's what the narrative is today, but I'm going to show you guys that places like nasdaq have been around for a while and they've probably been doing a lot of research just like me and you and that's why today i'm showing you that on my birthday they dropped an article talking about their top three altcoins that could outpace bitcoin and some of them as early as 2023 so that if that is pretty interesting to you then check out this video until the end subscribe to the channel if you're new here um, so right now, Bitcoin is having a little pump. It's at about up about 2.5 percent today at 19.3. And um, we're seeing that the trades are picking up as we're getting higher. And so that's kind of going along with my little trade amount theory and my volume theory and stuff like that. So um, <clears throat> that's good to see um that Bitcoin is ranging in the areas that we want to see a range that I want to see a range for a while and just slowly trickle up so that we can kind of solidify and have a bottom that's above like 10,000, you know, and then just go from there. That will be pretty amazing. So looking at the chart, that is exactly what we see right here. Um, first level that I'm saying that we should get above, that will be pretty bullish in the short term will be 19.6. And the lowest level that I want to see us go is right here. So looking at the weekly chart um you know that this candle is a pretty interesting candle right here but it closed at a nice level so that's cool to see but on the weekly chart look at the stochastic rsi it might have to come down just a little bit to cool off just a little bit getting into what i wanted to talk about nasdaq has an article where they said the top three altcoins that could outpace Bitcoin in the coming years. And you're like, what? NASDAQ? And a lot of people might say, that's traditional finance. What do they know about cryptocurrency? Well, NASDAQ is now working with seven cryptocurrency exchanges. This article was posted in January 30th, 2019. So for a long time, NASDAQ has been diving their heads into cryptocurrency to you know, and back then you could see, I mean, if you got into cryptocurrency in 2019, chances are you learned about a lot of other things that blockchain has to offer, which brings you to the altcoins. And that's why a lot of us are here. And I think that's where a lot of the value and a lot of the life changing money is going to be made for a lot of people is in the altcoins where you can see that like investments as small as like a hundred to two hundred dollars are becoming thousands of dollars. It's like, a crazy crazy space and you know everybody's talking about a bull run but it's like I'll take a slow trickle up forever you know <laughs> but um, you know I understand that everybody's in a different place some people want their uh, I mean a lot of everybody wants their money to be you know going up super fast but you know I don't want to see it just dump and have a crazy bear market I want to see it trickle up but anyways different story for a different day nasdaq has been in this thing for a long time so that brings me to this article back again that says three altcoins that could outpace bitcoin in the coming years and i was like well that's cool and i was excited to see what coins they were going to talk about so they're talking about how bitcoin surged over this year and they're talking about how all these billionaire people are now hopping in and that it could potentially hit <coughs> excuse me it could it could potentially hit sixty five thousand dollars and they go down to state that therefore it makes sense to allocate some of your money into altcoins duh like duh and the altcoins that they say have the most potential are agi falcoin and v vid t data link I liked Falcoin since the first time I heard about it. AGI, I think, is the most important cryptocurrency in the space. And Data Link is one that you guys hollered at me at on this channel. So, pretty cool that we already knew about all these coins if you've been following me for some time. Dope. 
Um, but I'm definitely excited to see that AGI was number one in this list. And they talk about how it's one of the first um, artificial intelligence marketplaces. And it seems like they feel the same way I feel about it, that it's very, it's a very important project. It's only five cents. Um, ben Van Gertzel, Ben Gertzel, I don't know if it's Van Gertzel or Gertzel, Ben Gertzel, the CEO is like a pioneer in artificial intelligence. So it's great that he's the person kind of behind this project. So if you haven't seen my video on AGI, check that one out. It's one of my more popular videos, one of my more hated videos because a lot of people are like, how is it the most important? I'm like, because it could solve all your cryptocurrencies problems instantly if it comes to fruition for to fruition. But yeah, so if you haven't checked out AGI, check out AGI right now. It's only five cents at a market cap of 50 million. So I think if they say that this market cap could go up to a trillion dollars, just based on all the industries that um, artificial intelligence will be involved in and how it's getting into pretty much every industry, it's going to touch every industry in the world sooner or later. And, you know, singularity.net is kind of a pioneer. So that's pretty you know, I'm excited to see what happens to this market cap over time. And a lot of the coins are already in circulation. Only like 5% or 0.5% are like not in circulation. So that's also great about AGI. The other coins on their list, Filecoin. I have to do more research into Filecoin to be honest with you. But I did a little bit of research into what it is and I was excited about it. But I didn't know that um, from based on this article, I didn't know some of the partnerships and stuff that they had. So maybe I'll do another video on Filecoin later to let you guys know my thoughts on that. But I'll post this article in the description so you can read up on Filecoin. And I'll do the same with Data Link, which is already up. 845 percent this year and they're still calling it out it's one of those cryptocurrencies that could be pretty big and when i click on it i see that the market cap is only 32 million so they might be on to something there the max supply is pretty low compared to some other cryptocurrencies at only 56 million so only 56 million a price less than a dollar is pretty cool um you know there's some potential there so bitcoin continues to go up and nothing crazy happens like cryptocurrency doesn't get banned by the world and which can't really happen and you know as long as nothing crazy happens i think we're in for a nice ride you know for the next three to four to five years so subscribe to my channel i'm gonna be there the whole way hopefully you guys are there with me hopefully you guys like the video let me know what you guys think about filecoin singularity.net or vid t let me know what you guys think till next time peace